of Ireland. It was very beautiful here, Joey. But I'm a little bit confused here. Why do they call this Emerald Island? Victor, come on. Take a look out the window, dope. It's all green. Green grass, green everywhere, green water. Green like a like an emerald. Green, you understand? Oh yeah, that's very clever, very clever idea. Yeah, very clever. All right, come on. I want to show you something over here. Okay, now, you see over here, you see this car shop? Yeah, I see. Okay. Over on the right, that road on the right, you see that little red starting flag? That's where the race starts. And then they come up, and they drive around this course, around the shop, and then they go up the mountain. Come on, get to the top of the mountain, I'll show you. Okay, Joey, I go. Oh, you're a little bit bossy guy. Hey, I'm just trying to show you around, that's all. Take it easy. All right, there's the finish line. And, if you don't have good brakes, guess what? You go sliding through the finish line, and you finish yourself off the end of this here cliff. <laughs> oh, Joey, this looks like a very, very dangerous place here. Yeah, well, this is for professionals, that's what I think, you know? Maybe they got, like, stunt people or something. I mean, like, you see that hashtag-looking thing down there in the middle of the field down there? Yeah, what is it? Now, I'm not too sure myself, to tell you the truth. But if I was to think about it, you got all that farm equipment up there. Maybe the stunt guys, maybe they get in the vehicles there and smash it into each other's, try to push each other's off or in the hole in the middle. And whoever the last guy standing, he wins the event, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's a really good idea. Yeah, and you never know, maybe the people, maybe they bet on it, you know what I mean? Bet on the winners. You know, that's what I would do. Yeah, Joey, I know anything about make money. The wrong way, you know how to. Hey, come on, you wound me. I'm a very nice guy. Yeah, you're a very nice guy, Joey. All right, look over here, you see this road? Yeah. Okay, look, the stunt truck. They go zooming down that road and they go flying off the end. And whoever lands the furthest in the field, they win. Yeah, that's look like fun. I would like to try that. <laughs> yeah, go right ahead, pal. Help yourself. Take a dirt nap. Come on, let's go over here. I want to show you over there. We gotta look at the area by the soccer field. Joey, I have another question. Oh, of course you do, Victor. Of course you do. What do you want? Why in America do they call a game you play with your hands and running with a ball football? To me, football should be called soccer because you're running with ball and the whole bunch of guys come and suck you into the ground. Oh uh, yeah, you're very clever, Victor. I'll tell you what, when you become mayor or president, you could change the name. Maybe I will. Yeah, okay, I'll wait for the day and I'll you get my vote. Now come on. Okay, you see this over here? This little course? It starts down over here by this flag. And they go running around through this road. And look at this over here, they got a big wooden ramp flying maybe over the barn, and if you're lucky, you don't get your teeth knocked out by some of those trees. You got a little bit of a shortcut to get ahead of the other guys. Yeah, look at here. And you come down the side of the mountain, take a sharp right down through the canyon, under the bridge, another sharp right, and back around towards the soccer stadium, or the football stadium, excuse me. Yeah, it doesn't look like uh, it will be a good idea over here for Joey, huh? I don't know, I'm not too sure yet. So I also understand that when the professionals aren't playing soccer in here, the locals can come here and play a little game of football. That's a pretty nice idea, huh? Yeah, I'd like to go play myself down there too. Yeah, you should give it a try. Alright, come on, let's go fly up towards town. That's where the main event is, I want to look at that road. Okay, Joey, I go. Okay, look over here, you see here? There's the start for this one. Then you come down around through here, and you go around the back of that shop, and you go banging around.
around by the body shop. You gotta wind down this mountain across a little bridge. Look at this, see, got a sharp right turn. Then you got another one by the sawmill. Oh, now see over here, this is good. See, you got a little bottleneck where the bridge is, so if you can get yourself ahead of the game, you can cut everybody off. Yeah, Joey, I can see. I think you will figure out a way to cut people off. Victor, you really don't understand me. I'm a very misunderstood person. Yeah, Joey, I never understand you. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, there you go back up, to make your way back up the town over here. Okay, sweetie, yeah, go inside and freshen up and I'll order some drinks while I'm waiting for you. Oh, I wonder who that is. Uh-oh. Hello? Hey, Eustace, old pal. How are you? How's things going over there? Hey, Joey, good. How are you doing? Everything's going great. I'm out at Pheasant Pluckers with my wife for our anniversary dinner. Oh, well, that sounds very nice. Very quaint. I hope you two lovebirds have a wonderful time. Oh, and by the way, yeah? surprise. What do you mean? Me and Victor, we got to missing you around the farm back in Gloucestershire. Oh, boy. So we took the helicopter out here to come and visit. Uh. And being that you took your old friend Chris along on a little vacay, Joey. we decided we'd look him up, too. Joey. And because you're out on the down, he might feel a little alone oh my back at your house. So, you see, I got a little chummy with the mayor of Galvin. Oh, did you? You know, I made a little donation, you know, have some flowers around the yard, around really? the town hall, you know, bulletproof fest for the cops. You're a piece of work. And in return, he let me borrow a couple of officers, and I got one parked right in front of your house. What are you going to do, and Joey? Gonna keep an eye on Chris to make sure that he's safe and sound until I can free up and go and have a visit. Now... You don't need to thank me, pal. No, I'm Before not. Before you say a word, let me just explain something here. Mm -hmm. There's going to be that rally, you know? So I was talking to the mayor, and I says, gee, wouldn't it be nice if I can have a little friendly race with a friend of mine before the rally starts? So he said, sure, he'll set it up for me. So, tomorrow morning, you and my pal Chris... You're gonna get in one of the little police friends' cars of mine, and they're gonna escort you up here to a little coffee shop over here. It's called Miriam's Lovely Buns. I know the place. And we're gonna have a nice little get together. And then now, here's the good part, Eustace. Oh yeah, I'm waiting. If Chris wins the race, he gets to keep the car free and clear, and he doesn't owe me any money for the past rental fees. Oh, is that However, so? If I win, I get the car back in mint condition. And everything he owes since this car's been missing is going to be paid to me. Either way, if he doesn't have the cash, then he can do it with little side jobs on our farm. Being that we're partners, uh -huh. I'm willing to share the wealth. And I might have a little extra personal task for him to do. Oh, I'm sure. Until I say that that is paid. So what do you think of that, pal? Sounds like a great idea, doesn't it? It sounds like a dirty deal, Joey. We're going to keep this clean. I want to get this all sorted out and over with. You know, I took the car out here. Your car is going to be fixed, and it's going to be returned to you. 
So it's really no skin off of your nose, you know. Oh, yes. You're a wonderful friend, Eustace. Thank you very much for offering up your best people to fix my car. I really appreciate that. However, I'm running a business, you know. And businesses, well, they don't run on charity alone. They run on money. And I'm not making no money off of this car because nobody's paying for it. Now, because you're my friend, I'm willing to handle this like a gentleman. And mm -hmm. this is the most gentlemanly way I know. And trust me, I don't know too many gentlemanly ways. So, let's not spoil your evening out with the missus. Have a nice time. Go home. Get a good night's sleep. And I'll see you in the morning. Yeah, I'll get a good night's sleep, Joey. Don't you worry about that. And I will see you in the morning. Me and Chris. And uh, we'll get this all sorted out like friendly gentlemen. So, yes, I'll see you in the morning. Goodbye. How you doing, pal? I see you here bright and early. Rise and shine. Good to see you. So, you know the drill. Hey. I'm sure Eustace already told you what we're going to do here. And uh, I got a nice little surprise for you waiting. So, let's go ahead and get to it. And we'll get this all fair and square. You understand? Yep, I get it. I hope. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get it either way, pal. <laughs> Psst, Chris, I got a little something yeah. set up at the end of the race. I'm gonna make sure that you win. Don't you worry about a thing. So just take it easy and relax, and do the best you can. You got it? Yep. All right, kid. So here we go. On my count. One, two. <laughs> Three. <laughs> hey, <Cheeto. laughs> Seven, six, five, four, I got three, it made. Two, I got one, it made. You'll never have to be sacred stone. <laughs> Oh, my 
head hurts. All right, punk. You won fair and square. You're off the hook. Thank <laughs> you.